Hi, assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in chapter 6, chemical equilibrium. And now we're going to look into the subtopic of 6.2 equilibrium constant, part 1 of the video. So in this video, we're going to learn about the idea of the definition of the homogeneous equilibrium. And we're also going to learn on how to deduce and write the expression for the equilibrium constant in terms of the concentration, which is Kc, as well as the partial pressure Kp for the homogeneous system. So this is going to be covered in part one of the video. For the others, we're going to look about that in the next video, which is in part two. So without any further ado, let us start with part one of the video first. So homogeneous equilibrium. Homogeneous equilibrium is basically a chemical equilibrium in which all the reactants and the products are in the same phase. Some of us are. For example, the N2O4 converted into 2 mole of NO2, which is in the gaseous state. As what you can see here, the reactant as well as the product are in the same states of matter, which is in gases, and therefore they are known as the homogeneous. So homo maksudnya sama. And then for the second equation, similar thing, we have SO2 reacting with oxygen to produce SO3. And they are also involving the same states of matter, which is the gases. And for the third part here is we have the ethanoic acid, which is the CH3COOH aqueous. And then it's going to be dissociated, dissociated into the ethanoic ion as well as the H plus ion. So all the reaction here involve the aqueous states, which is homogeneous. And now we're going to learn about to write the Kc expression okay so in writing the kc expression uh, usually we're going to look into the general equation first let's say if you have your reactant a plus b and you got your product here in equilibrium with c and d and in order to write the equilibrium constant we need to be dependent of the stoichiometry so let's say the the reactant a will have a stoichiometry of a the reactant B will have a stoichiometry of small letter B, and then a product C will have a stoichiometry of letter C here, and then D will have the D, small letter. And then when we write the Kc expression, it's basically a ratio for the concentration, because C refer to the concentration of the product, which is the product out that we have is C, and then the product, the other product that we have is D. And then it is the ratio of the product to the power of its stoichiometry. So C to the power of C, and then D is to the power of D divided by the ratio of the concentration of the reactant. So our reactant here is A to the power of A, as well as the concentration of B to the power of B. So this one is the general one. And let's say if we have a specific example, which is the N2O4 gases converted into 2 mole of NO2, when we wanted to write the Kc, it basically means that it is the reaction that involves the concentration of the product, which is NO2. And then you look at the ratio here, which is 2. So it is power of 2 divided by N2O4, which is the reactant, to the power of 1 here. But 1 is usually omitted, usually ignored. So the Kc expression for the first equation is going to be looking something like this, okay? which is the same. So for the, we're going to try it again for the second equation, which is we need to write the Kc. So for the Kc, for the second equation is going to be the concentration of the product, SO3, to the power of the stoichiometry, which is 2, divided by the Concentration of the reactant is O2 to the power of 2. And then the other reactant here is oxygen to the power of 1. But we're going to ignore that. So our Kc for the second expression is going to be SO3 to the power of 2, SO2 to the power of 2, and O2 to the power of 1. Where 1 here, you can ignore that. Okay. And for the third equation, is similar thing as before. So you need to write the Kc. And then the product divided by the concentration of the reactant. 
Okay, so we're going to be looking something like this. And one here referring to the stoichiometry of one. And you can also ignore the number one here. So if you want to remove that, it is also acceptable. Okay, so the Kc here, K basically refers to the equilibrium constant and C refer to the concentration. Meanwhile, the bracket here refers to the concentration, which it can be in the unit of molar, mole per dm cube or mole per liter. And as for your notes, the Kc as well as the Kp that you're going to learn later has their own specific unit. But in our syllabus, Kc and Kp is treated to be dimensionless or no unit. Okay? So now, we're going to look into the same equation again. But then we need to learn on how to write Kp. So what is Kp? Kp is basically equilibrium constant. But we need to write it in terms of pressure. Or known as the partial pressure. Okay? So similar thing as before. Let's say if we're going to write the equation number one here, Kp. So we're going to put it in terms of partial pressure. So for the partial pressure, we need to write the pressure first, and then the product that we have is NO2. And then we're going to bracket it to the power of the stoichiometry, which is to the power of 2, divided by the partial pressure of the reactant, which is N2O4 to the power of 1. Okay, So 1 here is optional. You can write it or you can ignore it. Okay, so you're going to be looking something like this. And then you're going to do the second one. Similar thing as before, Kp is equal to the partial pressure of the product, which is SO3, and then to the power of 2, divided by the partial pressure of the reactant, SO2, to the power of 2, with the partial pressure of the oxygen, to the power of 1. So it's going to be looking something like this. Okay. So when we are talking about pressure, it needs to be written in terms of the partial pressure of each species. And then the stoichiometry here, it needs to be powered up. All right. And as what you can see here, the partial pressure is only applicable for the gaseous state only. Okay. So, pressure, tekanan, hanya boleh berlaku untuk gaseous state sahaja. So, if they ask for Kp for the aqueous state, we cannot write it because Kp expression is only involved for the gaseous state sahaja. If they ask for concentration, which is in terms of Kc, it can only be written for the gaseous as well as for the aqueous state only. Solid and liquid for both of the expression of Kc and Kp will be ignored. Okay, so fasa solid and liquid akan diabaikan dalam Kc expression. Untuk pressure hanya untuk gas. Kc iaitu concentration will involve gaseous and aqueous state only. Alright, now we're gonna do example number one. So for example, number one, we need to write the Kc and Kp for the following equation. So we have our Hf aqueous dissociated into H plus aqueous ion as well as the F minus aqueous ion. So when we write the Kc, we need to write the concentration of the product first divided by the concentration of the reactant. And the stoichiometry here is in the power of 1. And that is why it is not written. So how about the Kp? Okay, yes, the Kp is not available because Kp is only for the gaseous state of matter only. Okay, but here is involving aqueous. So that is why the Kp is not present here. How about the Kp and Kc for the second reaction, which is this equation here? Okay, so you might do like this. H2O divided by concentration of the reactant D3H8 and oxygen. So if you're doing it to be like this, then your answer is going to be wrong. 
Why is that? Okay, this is because the equation is not balanced. Okay, equation ini tidak seimbang. So the first thing that you need to do is to ensure that the equation needs to be balanced first. Okay, so we have to balance the equation first. So we have three carbon here. So when we have the three carbon, we need to write three carbon here as well. Okay, and now we have eight hydrogen. So here we only have two hydrogen, so we're going to put it four. And then oxygen, we're going to have six plus four, we have 10. So we're going to put five here. Okay, so, so the balancing of equation, we're going to get it to be five, three, and four respectively. So once you have the balance equation, then only we can write the Kc. So our Kc is going to be the concentration of the product, CO2 to the power of three, which is the circuit with three. And then there our H2O, which is to the power of four. And then our CH3H8 to the power of one. And then oxygen to the power of five. How about the Kp? So Kp can be written because all the states here are in the gaseous state. Okay, so we can write our Kp, which is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide to the power of three, partial pressure of H2O to the power of four, and then the partial pressure of C3H8 to the power of one, and then the partial pressure of oxygen to the power of five. So this is how we write the Kc and Kp expression for the homogeneous equilibrium. Now, we're going to look into the second example. So for the second example, the following equilibrium process has been studied at 230 degrees Celsius. So here is the equation for the NO gas reacting with oxygen gas in order to produce nitrogen dioxide. So in an experiment, the concentration of the reacting species at equilibrium were found to be as follows. So we have to determine the equilibrium constant Kc for the reaction at this temperature. Okay, so first thing first, we can write back again the equation. And as well, we can see here, the equation here is already balanced. So the equation is already balanced. Okay, balanced equation. And then the concentration of each species is given as here. So we have our NO to be 0 0.0542, our oxygen concentration is 0 0.127, and then for our nitrogen dioxide, we have 15.5 molar. And then in order to find the value of Kc, we can write the Kc expression first based on the balance equation. So our Kc is going to be the concentration of the product, which is NO2 to the power of 2, and then our concentration of the reactant NO to the power of 2, with the concentration of another reactant, O2 to the power of 1. And then our concentration here is given, which is 15.5 to the power of 2. So we're going to substitute that in. And then our NO is 0 0.0542 to the power of 2. And then our oxygen is 0 0.127. So once we do the maths here, we're going to get our Kc to be 6.44 times 10 to the power of 5. Okay. And this is how you find the value of Kc since we are talking about the equilibrium constant. And that is why we need to use the value at equilibrium. Okay. Now, we're going to look into how the equilibrium constant, which is Kc or Kp, can be dependent on how the equation is written as well as balanced. So let's say if you have the equation of number one here, which is N2 or 4 gases it can be converted into 2 mole of NO2 gases. So when we write the Kc, we're going to get our NO2 to the power of 2 divided by the reactant, which is N2O4. So we're going to have this Kc value, for example. But now, what if we swap the equation? Kalau kita tulis yang ini dahulu, and then product dia jadi begini. Okay, so kita ubah, kita inversekan the equation. So what going to happen to the Kc value? So if you were to do that, you can see that Kc is equal to the N2O4 divided by the reactant, okay, which is NO2 gas to the power of 2. So basically, here and here, they dah jadi terbalik, they dah inverse. So what's going to happen here is that you can say that the equation of N2O4 NO2 to the power 
of 2 is basically the same as NO2 to the power of 2 divided by N2 of 4. But then this equation, this whole thing here, are being inverse. Okay, dia telah diterbalikkan. And this is seolah-olah NO2 to the power of 2 and then N2 of 4 have these values, right? It's 4.63 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So we can substitute the value in. And then minus 1 here. So once we do the maths, what we're going to get is the value, which is the new value, which is 260. Okay, and this is proven mathematically. All right, so it is dependent on how you write the equation. All right, so we can do another example, which is the equation 3 here. So for this case, which is equation number 3, we balance it using the half sign. And then in this case, we're going to have number 1 instead of number 2. So once, once we write the KC expression, we're going to get our product, which is NO2, divided by our reactant, the concentration of our reactant, which is N2O4, to the power of half. And this thing here is similar to this one. Okay, So it's basically equal to the NO2 to the power of 2 divided by N2O4 to the power of 1. Okay. Tetapi, beza dia sini dengan sini adalah seolah-olah this whole thing here is multiplied by the power of half. Okay, so 2 and 2 here can be cancelled out and that's why it become 1. 1 multiplied by 1 over 2 is going to become half. So, it looks like it's going to be 4.63 times 10 to the power of negative 3 to the power of half. So once you do the maths here, you're going to get the value to be 0 0.0680. Okay, and this is how we can say that the KC and KP equation is dependent on how we balance and how it is written. Alright, so I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!